Hey guys, N2 Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends series Target exclusive Marvel's Mobius from the Loki Disney Plus TV series. So first, uh, before I get into it, I did not get this in a Target store. Target.com did not ship this out. I got mine from my buddy in Taiwan, MFCT News. Um, a link to his YouTube channel in the video description below. He actually had done an unboxing of this. Um, you guys, I'm sure, have known him from uh, Facebook, all of the posts and everything. They a lot of times Taiwan will get stuff early, um, so they always have kind of um, pictures and stuff ahead of time. And then maybe from Instagram, you may see them. So link in the video description below for their Facebook page, Instagram page, and their YouTube channel. Uh, but big thank you. He had an extra in Taiwan and offered um, to ship it out to me, uh, basically at cost. Um, it was forty bucks shipped, which is an, an amazing deal. He also included this little alligator for. A a Loki alligator or Loki crocodile, croco Loki, locodile. What is what what are, what are some of the things that they call it? Anyway, this little alligator, which is really cool, a nice little touch. I really appreciate that. Uh, so Mobius, um, I was super jealous. I actually watched his video, um, his unboxing, and I'm like, man, that figure looks great. So it was awesome that he actually had an extra one um, and offered it up to me. Um, so I'm actually really excited about this one. The Loki TV series was incredible. Um, it, it is my f by far my favorite um, of the of the live action shows. Um, I like it more than What If. Also, What If is still very good and, and fresh and new because it's currently on now. But um, Loki was an amazing series. My my favorite live action. So I'm excited for this. So. Um, looking at, we got the Loki uh, logo there at the top, that little Loki logo there, the same that Sylvie had. Um, the side artwork, we see Owen Wilson as Mobius, and that looks pretty good. Here at the back of the package, we get that same look, and the bio reads, Marvel's Mobius. Mobius M. Mobius is an agent for the Time Variance Authority who specializes in the investigations of particularly dangerous time criminal criminals. Um, one thing, the time variance and then authority, the A is not capitalized. Not a big deal, just thought I'd point that out. Um, but I am excited, let's get this bad boy out of the package because I am excited to check him out because I know this guy's got a new torso, so that is actually pretty exciting. Okay, and here is the Mobius figure out of the package. Um, some good things and some bad things. The bad thing is, this is the old suited body. I hate, hate, hate the legs. The arms aren't even that great, um, so it sucks. He's pretty short. Um, it is, again, the like the Agent Coulson uh, body. It is not the younger Nick Fury body that the Loki figure uses. Um, so it is a different body from that. The arms um, are again the older arms. These are the older legs. The shitty feet that I hate that just gets him hard to stand up. Surprisingly though, um, he's pretty easy to stand up. But a lot of the other figures, I really had a hard time doing it. Whether it was the Chameleon figure, Stan Lee figure, the Coulson figure, the Bruce Banner figure. So all those figures that use the same body, the same legs, those same feet, it's just really, really bad. But um, we do have some good things with the Mobius figure, and that's actually going to be the new torso, which I think is really good, and then the head sculpt, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Um, it just makes me want to say, wow. I don't know if that's a very good Owen Wilson impression or not, but... Um, it does really make me say wow because I think Hasbro did a really good job on it. So uh, let's take a closer look at the accessories, take a closer look at the figure, and then we'll get into the articulation where we will see that new torso, which I think is, again, really good. Okay, so first accessory here is the time stick that the Minutemen have. This is their weapon of choice. Uh, basically, what we think is happening is that they're being erased from the timeline. Um, however, when these are activated and used and um, used on something or someone, all it does is it sends whatever that thing is to the void at the end of time um, where the Eliath will then eat it up, I guess you would say. Um, I think the sculpt of it looks really good. What I would have loved to have seen though is a brighter colored tip to show like the glow effect that it has when it's activated. There's some gold paint in there, but it's pretty it's pretty hard to spot. I mean the brighter color I think would have gone um, a long way. And then Hunter B15 um, in the first episode when Loki's found in the what is it the Mongolian desert, um, I think she turns it purple to, to slow him down. Um, so it would have been cool to get like a second one of these, but I mean, I guess Mobius isn't a hunter. Still would have been pretty cool to see, but just brown and black, not a whole lot going on there. The other accessory, which is really cool, this is the highlight. This is the temp pad. Um, just a little bit of gold and black on the outside, but it does, oh, I guess there's some reddish brown there. 
Um, it, but the, the really cool thing is it opens up. So there's a lot of detail in there and some different colors. Like right here, it looks probably like the TVA logo, except it's so small you can't really make it out. Looks like we got a D pad there, directional pad. Um, it looks like it's sculpted and then painted. So there's some nice detail in this tent pad. That is actually really cool. However, I do think it is a little large. As you can see here, if Mobius were to hold it, uh, that is quite large in his hand. I don't know how he would hold it. He doesn't really grip it very nice, which sucks. I guess he could grip it in this hand. You kind of have to force it in there, but he could hold it however you want. But the tamp pad, I think, is actually a little bit large. But if they were to try and get this any smaller, there's no way they would be able to get any of the nice detail in there. There's just no way. But now let's take a better look at Mobius. Okay, here we have a close-up look at Owen Wilson, uh, Mobius M. Mobius. I think this head sculpt looks really, really good. If anything, though, I will admit that the lips came out a little bit bright and then the mustache a little bit bright also. Please do keep in mind I have some pretty bright lights on here. Let's see if we can kind of darken it up a little bit. And it wouldn't look so bad. So depending on kind of how your lighting is going to look, um, it'll be that way. What I really like is they totally nailed the nose, the broken nose that Owen Wilson has and the shape of it. I think they did a fantastic job, especially looking at it from that particular angle. If you look at the nose, it's kind of crooked there. But again, I think this looks exactly like Owen Wilson uh, and I think they did a really good job. The hair is just done on this gray color. It looks like a little bit of shading in there. A little bit of a wash effect in there. It looks pretty good. Then he just has this brown tie with a couple little stripes there, or like a tannish color tie. Um, he's wearing a brown suit, but here this is really cool because this is new. So the gold buckle there, his belt buckle, that has to be new because it actually has sculpted on, you can see TVA um, is actually like sculpted in there. So that's not something that's reused, that is new. So that is really cool. Um, and then light brown shoes, they painted brown for the soles on these shoes um, and that's it but I hate the suited body because again the legs are just kind of difficult to work they're pretty stiff there's just not a lot of mobility to them and then he kind of has a hard time standing and standing flat to get the both foot but then see every time I say that then it's I could stand him up super easily on on camera but anyway let's zoom out for uh, his articulation Okay, so for the articulation of Mobius, this is where we're going to get to talk about the really cool thing. But before we get there, um, his head is on a ball peg um, hinge, so he can look down that much. He can look up that much. It's a little stiff on there. Um, you get some pivot going on, as you can see there. You get a full rotation, of course, and get the shoulders to go up. Uh that high like so but you kind of really have to work them uh, full rotation of course upper bicep swivel like so you get double jointed elbow like so wrists swivel and they do hinge um, here is the new thing so we actually get a new torso you can see we have a diaphragm rocker joint there as opposed to an ab crunch so that is what is new so that collar piece and everything um, this is um, a new torso and I really like it. One thing that Hasbro did is if you look from the side, you could see, well, I guess you can't see a whole lot of light in there, but you don't see the gray, the light gray color of his shirt because one thing that Hasbro did is they painted a ring around those shoulders um, as just a little added detail so the shirt color doesn't show through the jacket so much. So uh, as much shit as we give Hasbro at times for skimping out on paint, this was a little tiny something that they did uh, which I think helps greatly improve the overall aesthetic of it when you're looking at the side because all I see is brown like right there at the shoulder All I'm seeing is the brown and not the light gray of the shirt. So um, credit where credit is due They should do that kind of thing way more often than they do uh, But the new torso again, we have the diaphragm joint So I love the fact that they did that so Mobis you can pivot to him to his left that much you can pivot him to his right that much. You can go back a little bit, but the jacket, of course, is gonna get in the way. And then coming forward isn't a whole lot. The ab crunch probably wouldn't have given him a whole lot more than that anyway, but it does um, allow for some free motion there. You can even do a swivel at that diaphragm joint and then a swivel at the waist so you can get him to turn all kinds of weird different ways. Um, I like it. I'm really liking that type of articulation in the torso uh, more and more. 
legs go out that far apart. He can kick forward that much. Doesn't really go back. Upper thigh cut there. Double jointed knee like so. Um, and then here these ankles are trash. Uh, so he can pivot. You can hinge the ankle down that much. If you're brave enough and these feet have a little bit of flexibility, you can work that over the pant leg to hinge it down some more. Not sure that you would need to, but you can do that. There's a tiny bit of hinge going up, um, but you kind of have to work it. That foot kind of hits the hint, the ankle a little bit, um, but you're really not gonna go a whole lot because then the foot's just gonna hit that pant leg. That's one of the things that I absolutely hate about this body mold that gets used. Um, I wish they would just completely retire it, stick with the new younger Nick Fury body, um, but they still use this one from time to time. So there is the articulation. Okay, and here side by side we have the entire crew. We have Sylvie, Mobius, and Loki. Uh, there, Loki is the tallest. Actually, I went from short to tallest. I didn't even um, do that. And I'm pretty sure that that's how the side, uh, you know, Tom Hiddleston is over six foot. I don't think Owen Wilson is all that tall of a guy. We always see him in movies next to like Vince Vaughn, and Vince Vaughn completely towers over him, which I believe Vince Vaughn is over six foot. Um, I could be wrong on there. Uh, but here we have it. Sylvie is by far the best figure of the wave. Um, all new sculpt and mold uh, molding for a brand new figure, whereas these ones use a lot of reuse. Yeah, we get a new tie. I think the tie is new. The jacket's new. The rest of the figure is not. The Tom Hiddleston head sculpt, while good, is not great. The hair, you know, in the wind is kind of one thing, or the hair flip he always does, I guess, is kind of the look they're going for. Uh, the Mobius has a brand new torso, which I think is really awesome, but then it really brings it back down because of the old suited body, which I just, I'm really not a fan of, and I really wish Hasbro would just stop using that damn suited body. Even this suited body, the younger Nick Fury, while it's much, much better, a huge improvement over the previous, it's still not all that great. The Happy Hogan figure, for instance, that suited body, now we're on to something. Problem is, is that's kind of a larger figure, um, but the, this body mold just ain't cutting. I really, really hate the legs. They like don't want to do anything. They're just really stiff and it's hard to get them in certain positions. They just have a hard time with it. Um, so, one of those things, I guess. Okay, that is my review of the Mobius figure. Um, I'm happy that they made it. I'm really happy that they made it. I love the character in the 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 the, 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 the Loki Disney Plus series. Um, I really enjoyed it. I can't wait to see a season two and see what's going on in there. We know that Mobius will return. There's now rumors that Mobius and Loki will make an appearance. Maybe even Sylvie will make an appearance in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. We shall see. Who knows what's going to be going on. Um, I'm glad, again, that they made this figure. It is a Target exclusive. Again, I did not get mine from Target. I got mine from M MFCT News. Um, again, links in the video description below to their YouTube channel, Facebook account, and Instagram account. Um, but this is the type of figure that you would want as an exclu exclusive, right? Maybe not everyone wants a Mobius figure. Maybe everyone does, but then you have an opportunity um, through Target. I'll also include a link in the video description below for the Target listing. I believe it's sold out right now, but keep an eye on it. It could pop back in. Um, the Sylvie figure, I think, was a must-have, as you can see there in the background, um, as I try to focus and can't seem to get it to focus on there, unfortunately. Um, the Loki figure in the opposite corner. Uh, Mobius, again, being the exclusive, maybe not everyone wants it. And I think that's kind of what exclusives could be, or not even fully should be, but kind of that's what they should be, right? If maybe a figure that not everybody wants. Um, and for those that do want it, they're able to get it. Um, those that don't want it, they can just easily pass on it. They don't have to buy a figure in a wave to build a certain build a figure or anything like that. But you guys let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are on there. What did you think of Mobius in the Disney Plus uh, Loki series? What did you think of this figure? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, thank you for watching.